Welcome back, gamers! Don't cry, little buddy. Today we are opening... Altered! Uh, a new Kickstarter game made by Equinox. This is uh, something I funded on Kickstarter uh, about six or eight months ago. And I remember seeing people posting about it on Twitter and whatnot and thinking, hey, that looks like kind of an interesting idea. When it blew up on Kickstarter, I had to grab some. So for those that don't know, Altered raised $6.7 million on Kickstarter, which made it the most funded TCG ever on Kickstarter, which is pretty cool. There's been a lot of cool TCGs that have come through Kickstarter to see this one do the best. Makes it a little bit special. I have a lot to uh, talk about as far as Altered is concerned, but I'm just gonna start ripping because I think this might take a second. We do have this booster box with 37 packs and then two starter decks we will look at eventually. So Altered has a bunch of things that is supposed to make it a little bit different from other card games. And I'm just gonna explain those while we open them because it's kind of confusing. Uh, this is just a token card, I believe. I don't really know too much about how to play the game. I have watched like a couple tutorials and whatnot, but I am by no means a pro and I have never played it. So take everything I say with a, a very large Himalayan oh. salt lamp size grain of salt because I don't actually know much. But yes, mana is the back of the card. You can play any card as mana. So yeah, you don't need anything special. For one second, I got excited, but I am remembering now that every uh, hero card, which you get one per pack is, is foiled. So nothing too special here. We have Subash and Marmo. I'm not gonna try to explain game mechanics too much, but I will say you're not like battling per se, like you are in like magic or Pokemon, you're racing. So uh, keep, just keep that in mind. We have Monkey Man jumping off the mountain. So the first uh, part of the pack will just be a bunch of commons. Here's a landmark. These are kind of like uh, machines that make stuff. We have uh, some Fortnite looking skin, grass rats. Uh, we got uh, the Gambler's ah. Fallacy, Muna Druid. The good stuff's at the back. Oh wait, I need to be paying attention because they're kind of hard to tell if it's a common or a rare. It just says a C down here if it's a common and an R if it's a rare. And how it works with these Kickstarter packs is they made it so up to five cards can be rare, I believe, in these uh, Kickstarter packs. So it's a lot more than normal. I think it's only three in a normal pack. So, And you can see that these are rares because they're full arts, I believe, yes. Uh, this has an F at the bottom, which means it is cr a cross faction, which basically, oh my gosh, this is so hard to, to explain all of this bullshit. Um, this card is normally not um, brown, it's normally a different color, but some cards have a, a, a cross faction card, which lets them be played in a different deck. Anyway, I'm done talking about that, and we have Studious Disciple. The things you want to get the most out of these packs, as far as rarity, is... Uh, Uniques, which I will explain when we get one, and promos. Promos are, uh, okay, a different one. As long as we don't get too many of these same ones, that would be nice. I think that there's more packs than there are heroes, so I think theoretically you can get a foiled Kickstarter version of all of the hollows. And this A down here signifies it's a, a Kickstarter card, so that's cool. Um, but yes, the promos can be seated at the very back. I guess I should be paying attention to these. Why, why do they all look like Fortnite skins? Huh? It's like that pink, pink girl. I swear I don't play Fortnite, but I, for some reason, know a lot of the skins. Anubis, Lucario, I mean, sorry. John de Arc, Spycraft, and Esmeralda. And to retreat teamwork training. This is like, um, you put your hands together and, and somebody sits on it, you know? I can't exactly tell if a card is playable or not yet, so I'm not gonna uh, talk about that. We have, excuse me, what? Arjun and Spike, and it's a cactus named Spike. Okay, that seems like a blatant copy. We got the Hive, the Brass Bug Hive. We have Kenji, or uh, any other generic samurai character, Mowgli. Like, isn't this a Disney character? Can you do that? I don't know. The Hatter, we also do. Okay, yes, also, I, I guess I should explain this. This is supposed to be like the world of Altered is like a, a combination between uh, our world mixing with the, like the fairy tale world. So yeah, that's uh, something. Hey, that looks cool. Lyra Festival. It looks like, what's that big festival where everybody gets super dead? Thoth. Uh, this is uh, some sort of bird man. It's the one where they play the geometry dash music. I can't remember what it's called, but people get hyped for that. Okay, look, I don't have a token card in here, so... That might mean something special. We have Fen and Crowbar, Scarecrow Man with the guitar. I don't know if that's like a 
something that you should know or not. Red. This is Red Riding Hood. This is uh, some sort of crystal. Yeah. Keylon crystal. Anyway, the promos. <laughs> what? I'm so scatterbrained. Uh, the promos you get at the back, they're worth like a lot of money. So I hope I get one of those like 50 to 150 dollars, depending on what you get. We have Frog Prince, the uh, father-in-law of Shrek. Baku. Don't know what that is. The Arabos Lyra Bastiodon. So that looks sick. But again, this is just a... Uh, a landmark, so it's not actually anything special. Aloe vera, I don't think that thing does shit for burns, to be honest. Magical training looks kind of like um, she'd be tripping. Baba Yaga. So, another thing, a lot of these cards have a rare version and a not rare version. So, the rare version is better, as you might have guessed, and you can only have a certain amount of rares in your deck, so that's something to keep in mind. Interesting. I can't be played, but I can be used as a mana orb. Why would it... Oh, because... I don't know. More. Let's see something new. Like, as if we haven't seen. Oh, yes. This I should explain. So, I'm going to try to explain this. Every card has a QR code on it, as uh, we have seen. Um, we do have Ma from uh, My Singing Monsters on here. Awesome. Yes, anyway, these QR codes, you scan them into your app, and you can uh, keep track of your collection digitally, which is cool in and of itself. However, it also lets you sell the digital rights to your cards so that other people can print the cards that you've sold them, but you can still play with your card. <laughs> it's really freaking complicated, but basically you get those foil things, this, and I scan it and I can say, I want my Baba's Isba to be a foil. Combine these together on my app and then I can have them print it and send it to me. Yes, it does cost money, but I guess it gives you more control over what cards you want to be foiled, I guess? It is honestly a very confusing system, but that is a sick looking card, Kraken's Wrath. That's also sick looking. There's a little gremlin guy on it, so I really like that. Yeah, that's a cool looking little um, little gremlin guy. I kind of like that. Yeah, that's um, that's really cool looking gremlin guy. Hmm. These uh, digital things make a little bit more sense with uniques. We should be... Okay, a unique foiler. So this is really good. This is how you foil a unique card. So yeah, the rarity of the foiler does need to match that which you are trying to foil. And we have this f again, the dog man. Coppelia, robot getting a heart. Shen Long, I wonder what's Long Man. Little salamander fella, axolotl, sneezer shroom, looks like a Mario character. Ink caster, what is this, Sai from Naruto, uh, Harvest, that thing, dragon, smart dragon, flamel. Um, also a Fortnite skin, piece of paper, Red Riding Hood. I swear we're gonna get a unique here, and then it'll all make sense, it will. We're just gonna keep flying until we get one. We got a lot of packs to get through, nonetheless. Brass Bug, probably don't need to show that unless it's a foiler, but okay, we have the devil and a woman, wrestling woman. We have another robot, monkey, devil, rats, gambling addiction, kraken, death of the dinosaurs, Fighting Woman, Helping Hand, Geometry Dash, Festival, Seal, Baku Spear. Okay, what the hell? Uh, I think these are supposed to be like one in six. While we wait to, to get that unique card, I'll explain some of the- Are you kidding me? This guy again! Some of the benefits of having bought, cool, Kickstarter packs. So, these Kickstarter packs always have a foil hero. All normal packs have a regular hero, so cool. Yeah, you can get up to four or five rares rather than a potential three out of a normal one. You also get an extra card for some reason, and you can get alt arts in here, which I don't know how to tell if something is an alt art, so I'm probably gonna have to look at the picture of all the alt arts and see if I get it. I think this is an alt art. Yes, it is. Because this is how it normally looks, I think. Wait, what? They have completely different stats. Yeah, never mind, I don't get it. But there's special art in here, and I know that some of it is exclusive to Kickstarter. Okay, foil, please. Yep, common foiler, cool. Oh, and we got something new here. We got some old man and a whimsical dragon. So I'll probably have to start skipping through some of this common stuff because for some reason I still, hey, that's a new one, uh, some zesty dude dancing. That's also a new one, okay. So maybe I haven't seen as much as I thought. Or maybe I'm not really paying attention. Tiny Jin. Oh, we've seen him, the big Jin. Big Jin's like the, the that big guy. <laughs> His name's Jin. Okay, finally. Oh, I thought, thought we'd never find one. So this is a unique card. You can tell by this gold light up here. It also has a U down here for unique. So basically, a unique card is completely well, unique as it sounds, which is kind of crazy, but there's no card that has this exact same name, stats, abilities in the world. This is a one of one, which is very cool. 
There was a lot of people that were kind of skeptical about these being OP, so they put a lot of uh, implementations in to limit their strength. However, they are cool because there's still only one of them. So from what I've read, their abilities range from kind of bad to like, okay, but they're never like game breaking. They normally have like some semi cool boost, but some bad like stat debuffs because of it. But a lot of people will build around a unique cards so you can do combos, I guess, or something. Anyway, this is a tree and it's special. And that is where you really want uh, the ability to put it on your online account and sell the rights to it. So if somebody could come and, uh, you know, buy that tree from me. Oh, look, we've got uh, another Fortnite Bruh. skin and a dragon. And you know, maybe somebody would pay a semi, what the heck, is this a ninja turtle? It's totally a ninja turtle with a bucket of water on his head. Uh, a semi-decent price for it, whatnot, and now they have the rights to that card. So they can print it and use it in their deck in a tournament. She's harvesting and collecting those eggs. Then if I was to play with my card of it, but I don't have the online rights, then I could get kicked out of the tournament. So that is really, I guess, what the big purpose is for these uh, QR codes, because you got to have proof that you are the owner of a unique card, and that's how you do it. Yep, all of that blue balling, you guys, just to explain that. Uh huh, I know. We got Gian, Assembly Overseer. Guys freaking put a lot of hours in to be able to fly like that. But we got a hell of a lot more packs to get through. And uh, a lot more random crap I can tell you about this game that I've learned. Yes, finally, another new one uh, with the big fox, the f nine tails, I'm guessing. They definitely be taking a lot of uh, inspiration from, well, Tinkerbell. Yep, other fairy tales, movies, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, see, this guy's got a sword. I swear I've seen one of those swords in a movie at one point. Yeah, we got a navigator. We've got a, a re reprocessor, uh-huh. I hate working at the reprocessor when it's, when it's my turn. And we got Monolith Legate. I'll go over some basic card anatomy for you guys, just uh, so you can uh, know. Oh, we've got Iron Golem. This up here is their cost. Uh, blue is what you pay out of hand. The second color is what you pay out of reserve, which I'm not going to explain in depth, but it's another way to play cards. And then these are their stats. Those come in play depending on where they are on the field. Like um, this guy, for example, Torterra is really good if you play him in a water place, which makes you run faster for some reason. Monkey with spider legs, or maybe it's just a spider, or maybe it's a goat spider. You guys remember hearing about that? How they're like randomly, you roll up to school in sixth grade, they're like, hey, by the way, we got um, a, a goat that can make spider silk. I thought about that the other day and I was like, that can't be real, that cannot be real. It's real, I looked it up. I don't know why the hell they thought that was necessary, but... And to be fair, it's not like the spider is mixed with the goat and the goat is like half spider, or looks like a spider. The goat just like makes the proteins necessary to manufacture spider silk in its milk. So the proteins can be harvested from the milk to make spider silk. Eh, fun fact of the day, we have some sort of drag queen looking fella. We have a little sad piglet. Anyway, uh, back to stats. Yes, these things do abilities. That's kind of self-explanatory, I guess. I guess that's probably the basics of the card anatomy, I think. That is a rabbit with wings getting killed because it's a disgusting monstrosity. And Sandman. From what I remember reading, there's guaranteed six uniques per booster box. And we are not even close to that as we have gotten one. We've got Mac. I think he's like the little weasel on the shoulder. Oh my gosh, they have Tracer in here. Okay, now this is this is actually just definitely copyright violation. Um, uh, Crocodile Rider, Raccoon Fox Rider, Bureaucratic Brat Lady. See, there's a Kraken again, but not the full art version. So, and I think actually now that I'm, I'm remembering the other Kraken card I pulled out, that was a, actually a spell. They just had the Kraken on it and not actually a Kraken card, I think. It's hard to uh, know if something is, is a good pull right now with this game because there hasn't been like a ton of competitive play. Hey, look, Griffin. So I don't think a lot of people know what's great yet, but things will probably work their way out. And uh, those with Kickstarter cards, I think will have an upper hand just because, you know, Kickstarter is a lot more exclusive. I mean, you can't buy it anymore already. I did see that they have started selling the basic booster box, like the regular non-Kickstarter version of uh, Beyond the Gates. And it's like a hundred bucks retail. So these are selling at like 180-ish online. So 
they're already worth a decent amount more. And there we go. We have our second unique Sir Nunos. He is from the green faction. Again, I'm not sure how to tell if this is good or not, but it seems okay. Uh, another interesting uh, or fun fact about this. They, one of the, what do you call them? Goals. No. Oh, sorry. Whew. That we hit as uh, funding goals was god packs are uh, seated in every 250 packs and that's just a full pack of uniques and uh, foilers i think so that would be cool to get i think i'm gonna start going a little faster this dude we are about halfway through the box but commons are just kind of boring so you can get foiled um unique stuff at the back i think so that would be cool so we're just gonna kind of oh uh not Spoil it too much. Oh, three little piggies. We haven't got that shit yet. Awesome. The set isn't like huge, but it's not like teeny either. So there's a possibility that we're still missing some. Yeah, I don't think I've seen mechanical training. So that's cool. And there we go. Our third unique Aja from Bravos, I think is the red one. Maybe it's good. Maybe somebody that has more uh, knowledge in this game could tell me if it's good. We really just want to hit one of those those promos. That would be the probably the most uh, financially valuable thing to have happen. Uh, we've already seen Iron Golem, so let's see how I can do this best. We kind of go through here until we get to the borders. And then we say Muna Merchant, Pine Co, Jellyfish, Jellicent, and the Kraken again. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make my own god pack right here gonna take off my token i'm going to oh wait but i have to keep at least five. One, two, three, four, five. these are just gonna be commons nothing great here except for i guess uh steve Come irwin on, how many packs should i do three yeah let's do let's do three to start that seems uh not too rambunctious yo yeah, oh, yeah. I've, unfortunately i am going to be scanning all of my own cards in just because i don't know if i'm gonna want to play or not so if I open this in the future, I probably won't, won't do that. I'll let you guys grab some, but for now, okay, this pack feels kind of heavy for some reason, so maybe it's something special, but I doubt it. Right, I don't think we've gotten Oddball before. That's worth something. Not not necessarily actually having uh, innate value, but just the fact that I don't have it yet. Birdhead. All right, we have our three packs of rares. I hope we can get a, a unique or something. Cool. Flamel. Love him. I love these foundry and... Uh, whatever they're called, landmark cards. I think they have very cool art. A lot of this kind of looks like AI to me. So those ones aren't cool, but um, the ones that don't look like AI, awesome. Cool uh, whale, land whale, Tinkerbell, and um, that was shit. Packs are very satisfying to open. This is the person we've gotten the most by far. Get the hell out of my face. The nice thing about a nice well-funded game is print quality is great. Hey, look, uh, some sort of Yeti man. Whoa, oh sh shit. Okay, I just bent whatever cards on the back to hell. Bubble people. Uh, that dude and, uh, okay, it was just Baba Yaga. Sorry, hey. Baba. I don't think it's super exciting that like, you don't, you can't pull foil cards from the packs. So like, it kind of feels a little empty. Like a unique is cool, but it doesn't, oh, it doesn't have the flash of like an alt art and Pokemon, but I guess that's just the name of the game with being able to foil whatever you want. Also, these cards do look great with the foil, but no texture. And I like myself some texture, man. So we only got three rares here. Uh, that's like some sort of merman woman. It kind of reminds me of like the Skyrim creatures that you like spawn, the fire one, you know? I don't remember what those are called. And a tooth fairy. Damn, give me my tooth back. I wonder if her attack is give one quarter. It's funny, just uh, lifestyle inflation. You know how people talk about like, oh man, the more money you make, the, the, the more money you spend. Man, a quarter used to go a long way, guys. Lifestyle inflation has been crazy for me. Um, oh wait, we have seen the rabbit's demise. Armored jammer. Whew. Get that thing away from me. Hey, look, it's uh, that the rabbit dying again different art though. All right, we're gonna open one more of these and we're gonna take a look at one of these starter packs. I don't think they're gonna have anything uh, too exciting in them. We have seen um, that person, I think. Uh, Ninja Turtle, girl getting zapped off a mountain, the, tr the thing, the whale, yep. Beauty sleep, uh, whale, whale, also a whale. Crazy how many whales are in this pack. Oh my gosh, whale, whale, 
Little whales. The combo I purchased had this booster box and two of these uh, starter decks. This is Yzmir. I picked it because it's like a control style deck, which I uh, unfortunately do like blue and magic. So I think this is kind of the closest thing. All right, so we've got some like counters to display things of sorts. We have a play mat, which I'm not gonna really fold out because it doesn't mean much to you guys probably. And instructions, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't want to have to destroy this box, but I don't know if I have a choice, I guess. It's kind of a nice box, so it's sad, but... Whoa, whoa, no! Oh, look, I can uh, scan my whole deck in. That's cool. Uh, another nice thing is if you were to, like, drop your whole deck or whatever in the toilet, yeah, you could totally just have it printed. I don't know how much that's going to cost, but... Okay, so here's the hero. We've gotten her a couple times foil, obviously, and I don't think any of this is going to be special or unique however there are some cards in here back here somewhere yes these cards are like the map cards so this is um important to the game cool huh <laughs> yep and uh some more instructions i guess and a unique foiler wait that's dope i didn't know i got that cool we'll open a couple more uh, exciting things and then we'll take a look at the other deck i don't really think that it's gonna be any different. Oh, hey, I don't think we've gotten the Praying Mantis Lady yet. That's nice. See, these landmark ones are so sick. That's awesome, that's cool. Um, this is all just the uh, same old shit. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Goats, we haven't seen that dragon, so apparently there are cards that we haven't gotten. Have we seen this guy? And, oh, yo. Okay, so this is definitely good. The foiled unique is definitely good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have much to say, to be honest, because I don't really know. I gain a sleep. Does that seem kind of bad? Like, you just put it to sleep? or uh, I clearly don't know what that means, I don't think. But it's cool nonetheless. Not a promo, but I think this is probably the second best thing you can get. Maybe a promo's coming. I'll try to find values on a lot of this stuff, but... It's gonna be so tricky with Altered because of obviously unique cards being unique. Like it has its own innate value, which is undiscovered until you sell it. So it makes it kind of hard to know how much your card's gonna be worth. I'll probably try to find just like generic uh, foiled uniques and see if that has any value to what I pulled, maybe? We are getting quite low, so we'll uh, do our starter pack after this one. I really do like uh, the idea of funding some of these new t Kickstarter things. Hey, um, I don't think we've gotten this guy either. Kind of reminds me of like, the electric guy from Ben 10 when he's like in the yarn ball or whatever. Oh, I don't think we've seen this either, Big Owl. But yeah, I, I think it's fun to fund Kickstarter stuff because it's, you know, brand new, nobody else has seen it. And the case with uh, some of these TCGs that become popular, their cards from the Kickstarter edition really skyrocket in value. The second deck I picked is Ortis, and I think from reading about it, it's kind of like a token deck or something, if that means anything to you. Yeah, this is all gonna be the same. I just wanna look at this frog. So yeah, definitely seen this guy before. This is all gonna be the same. So I guess why the hell would you guys even care to look at this except for, oh look, a rare foiler. So I guess it was special I got that unique one. So maybe it just comes with a foiler and it can be any rarity or something. It's kind of funny that like the foilers are like cool. Like, oh, hey, I can foil my card now. But like, it's really just like a ploy for you to spend more money to like foil a card that you could have just pulled a foiled card, but they didn't give you that. I don't know, it's a little, it's a little bit funny. Like, yo, I just, I just pulled negative $3. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's kind of funny. Okay, there we go. We got another tree. Instead of girl tree, we have boy tree. Um, he looks badass. Looks like an ent. I have gigantic. And I have tough. I think this is actually probably pretty decent because gigantic I know is good. And also, you can discard him to draw a card. I know that's uh, a pretty playable thing, especially since he's kind of expensive. That's cool. How many uh, uniques are we at now? I don't know. I'll count at the end. Only got a handful left. And I will count my uniques after that. I swear. I don't like counting though. Pretty lame. We have seen you, Mac. Get out of my way. That thing, that thing, that thing, pinecone, that thing, kraken, that thing, that thing, thing, gambling, cocoon, <sighs> sleeping beauty. So you might have noticed like the non-rare version of this didn't have these little fellas on her. So that's like the specialty in the rarity also gives more additions to the card. Cool. Maybe I should like show an example of that if I was to find one. We'll see if I, if I have the mental capacity to uh, notice that in time. Probably not. Hey, look, this is like the one that I got unique. For reference, you can tell, uh, like, it definitely looks lots different. It's like nighttime in the special one. And sunny in the regular one. <clears throat> uh, 
Yep, okay, that's probably awesome. That's probably even better. Is this fella again? Give me a promo. I'm done with this crap. Give me a promo. Give me a promo. Oh wait, that's actually good. Whoopsie. Okay, we have Surge from uh, Brawl Stars. We have uh, some sort of Mr. Frankenstein with a robot, but that doesn't really make sense because I thought it was some uh, man, you know? Or maybe it's just like breathing life into something dead. Hey, look, there's Fat Jin, Mighty Jin. We've seen Little Jin a couple times. We have Self Destruct. No freaking dude, dude, please stop doing that, bro. I'm on route three. Five more packs, guys, five more. If we could pull one more unique, I think I'd be satisfied. If not, I hate this game, never opening it again. For sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, welding. Uh-huh, okay, I don't have anything to say about you guys anymore. You all look the same. Okay, piggies, I actually love you piggies, and I like that too. Maybe it's not all bad. They did uh, specifically say on their website that they don't use AI for any of their art. It's all uh, actually from an artist, which is kind of funny. You have to specify that, but I think it's less because of their art style and more just because of that's just the way the world is going. Uh, a lot of AI art out there, so people people don't want to pay for that shit. Hey, this is the Frankenstein guy I was just talking about. A uh, unique one. Okay, we gotta be over six at this point. That's, I guess, a good thing. Hopefully he's useful. Probably not. Three more. Really down to the wire. I did say I wanted one more unique, so I've gotten it. Maybe I... Yo, okay, let's go. Maybe they, they seed some good stuff at the very bottom. I like if uh, people would to do that specifically, that would be cool. But I guess then everybody would just steal and lie and grab the cards off the bottom of boosters when they split them to sell them. There's enough dirty scoundrel card gamers out there already that figured out how to x-ray. We figured out how to find freaking Charizard in a pack, in a box, before we figured out how to cure cancer, so that's too bad for, yeah, you know, just general humanity, I would say. Lots of celebration day. And this, my friends, is the last pack. Maybe something good? Probably not. This person. Um, uh-huh, yes, okay, some rares. Rare, rare, and uh, no unique. All right, so here are all of our uniques. We did get six, so that seems to be the standard from what I have read. Cool, didn't go above and beyond, but <coughs> I will say in the videos I watched, I didn't see anybody get a foil one, so that's cool. Also good to some extent is the three unique foilers, so that seems probably pretty good. All right, with that, here's um, a very estimated total. Could be a lot more, probably a lot less. And uh, thanks for joining me on this journey. Let me know if I should get more Kickstarter stuff in the future. Bye, gamer.